I'm often asked to tell stories about my days from college since I've told so many, mainly around how I was a fucking weirdo for like the first year and a half pretending to be a mysterious anime character and shit like that. But today I wanted to mix it up and hit you with a story from the academic side of my college experience. Now, I was a digital arts major for the first two years I was in college and then I switched to human sciences and exercise physiology for my concentration. And the reason for that is because I just truly wasn't talented in the art field at all. And I knew that going into it, I wasn't disillusioned thinking I was actually talented at art, like some kind of sommelier with the crayons or anything. I'd always sucked asshole when it came to art. But I thought it'd be fun to at least try to do like some cartoon shit and animation in college because I'd always liked it. But it wasn't fun and I wasn't good at it. Half of my like actual physical art projects ended up looking like something Jackson Pollock would have made while overdosing on ketamine. My 3D animation shit was absolutely fucking terrible. That looked like a video game glitch. Like it, it was all really fucking terrible. Now unfortunately I don't have any of the 3D models I worked on back then anymore. I just don't have the files. But luckily my mother kept all of the actual physical art pieces that I've made. And honestly it should be a crime that she even kept them. They're so fucking bad. But I'd like to take you on a tour through them. So as you can probably guess this is me. Uh, the, the resemblance is uncanny. This was my first self-portrait I did in the figure drawing course. And you can see just with each uh, a stroke of the pencil that I was able to just really capture a different beautiful aspect of my, of my figure here. I mean, it's like looking in a mirror, honestly. I bet you're asking yourself right now, Charlie, did you get an F for cheating? Because you probably just took a picture of yourself and submitted it. It looks so good. And I, I, I gotta tell you, this really, this was hand-drawn, if you can believe that. And trust me, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I only got better from there. Here is... Uh, here's... <laughs> you can, I'm sure you can... I'm sure, I'm sure you can immediately tell who this is. <laughs> With, it goes without saying, I don't, I don't even need to tell you who this is. This is my dad. As I'm sure you immediately guessed upon seeing it, you're like, oh, that's, that's Charlie's dad. That's Mr. White. Uh, the pose I was able to really nail here. This was, <laughs> he was... sitting in his chair and uh I, <laughs> I i decided to capture the moment because i was like wow that's powerful dad you're looking real real profound right now real sophisticated stay stay right there and let me draw you let me sketch you out and uh and this is this is how it came out and he's like wow charlie why are we even sending you to college you, you've already you've already mastered uh, the art wow uh, that that's a good that's a good drawing right there. Uh, that'll go up on my deviant art if anyone needs any uh, commissioned portraits. I'll I'll indulge for the right price. Uh, and then uh, of course we we only keep going up from there. Uh, this one is the back of a skeleton, I guess. Uh, I think I think that's all that is. But that looks pretty good. You know, all things considered, a, a massive leap up from the other two, if I do say so myself. You can see the improvement. You can see me really start. <laughs> you can see me really start to nail the, uh, the 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 vicissitudes of of each different piece that I was capturing. And then uh, here's me as a Pokemon trainer. Uh, there's there's me just. Yeah, tossing ye old Pokeball, catching a Hitmonlee or a Scyther, or, you know, any any Pokemon Charlie likes. Buzzswole, perhaps? Yeah, so, you know, we're getting real good here. The hands look a little fucked up, kind of like some claymation-type shit. But uh, other than that, I mean, that's that's about as good as she gets right there. That's pretty solid stuff. And then, of course, you can't just have, you know, pencil, pen, and charcoal. You also have to have some some painting, which I mastered. And I knew going into it I was going to be good at the painting, so here's, uh, here's the world, and there's another planet up, up there. So this looks pretty good if it was hung in a 4th grader's classroom. 
pretty proud of this one, I, if, if I do say so myself. Looking back on it, it looks like there was room for improvement, but hey, you can't, you can't fault where my heart was here. This is something that would definitely be hung on the fridge to celebrate their six-year-old's first painting. So, I mean, I don't remember what grade I got on it, but anything less than an A would be criminal. <clears throat> wow. Uh, we still got more, though. Don't worry. I can, keep, I can keep showing you some of these. I actually, unironically, did get kind of good towards the end of my figure drawing course. So, you're going to accuse me of plagiarism. I already know it. You're going to accuse me of stealing this from another student, but I assure you, I did actually draw this next piece. This was me looking at, like, an assortment of different things that the professor put on a table. And, uh, actually looks pretty fucking good. So, I, I really did start to get the hang of it towards the end of the course, and then immediately switched majors, so I never touched it again or got any better. So this is, like, peak Charlie art. Like, this piece actually looks kind of fucking good. Uh, so, actually happy with that one, and then I also did another decent one, too. I believe this was the last piece before the end of that semester. And it was another, like, weird, goofy, like, crime scene that she set up. Where it was, like, a head in a bowl on a, on, like, a tablecloth thing. I really got the tablecloth nicely. Like, that tablecloth is looking beautiful. So, I started to really nail this medium here. I think it, it, this is charcoal, right? So, I really started to get the hang of that. And, uh, yeah, so that, that came out nice. But that's really, uh, that's really peak of Charlie's art. Coming back down, we had, uh, some more stinky ones, unfortunately. Not, not super great here. I don't exactly know what this is, but, uh, you know, I, I made it. I guess this is like some kind of cosmic supernova happening up here, and I think that's, that's me with Pokeballs for eyes and Tetris blocks for eyebrows and Pac-Man for ears. I think these are Yu-Gi-Oh card backs, so I mean, it, it means, it meant something at the time, and I'm sure, I'm sure someone can derive some meaning from it. I, I don't remember what it was, but I'm sure at the time it was a real thought-provoking piece. Then of course I have this, which I think is just different kinds of corn. Maybe leaves, I'm not really sure. It's either corn or leaves, either way it's still, you know, pretty cool, I guess. You know, I mean, it's art, so, you know. Sometimes it just takes a little digging deeper to find the meaning. Then there's this. Again, it's I, at some point in time I was able to explain why I made this, but that was many, many moons ago now, many years, so I don't know what it means anymore, but I'm sure someone out there just lost their mind over how good it looks. You know, and then I got some of these. Another confusing piece from the artistic uh, uh, stylings of Charles. It's like a Rorschach painting, kind of, where you're supposed to, like, find what you see in it to explain your emotions. <clears throat> so, I mean, these are all pretty good. You know, looking back on these, I was definitely better than I remembered, honestly. Like, I was actually kind of a prodigy. I have another one of these. Still, again, it's, it, I don't know what it means. It's like in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, where Edward goes into that, like, zone with that, that like, faceless thing. You know, but again, I just I just wanted to show you... You know, I was a pretty talented art student, all things considered, before I switched my majors. I bet the university still beats themselves up about it, letting me switch majors. They should have told me to stick with it. I could have been one of the biggest artists in the world. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Yeah, I just wanted to show you some of my art pieces. I have a couple more stories from those art uh, class days that I'll share in the future, but I thought this would be a fun one to start it with. So, yeah, that's about it. See ya.